advised. Roses are red, violets are blue. When the Sea Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time, and it starts now. Well, catching cheaters is the idea. Uh, we're welcoming Brian to the show. Hey, Brian. Hey, hey. So we up. are putting your girlfriend to the test today. Yes. And what is her name? Allison. Okay, so explain why we're putting Alice into the test, please. Um, so basically, you know, we've been dating for a little while. Uh, she, when we first started dating, she was living with her mom. Um, but a couple months ago, she got her own place, her own apartment, and it's right next to my work. So, you know, every once in a while, you know, I'll stop by, you know, I'll pop in, I'll give her some dinner. Uh, she needed, a couple weeks ago, she needed some laundry detergent, so I stopped by. Gave her some laundry detergent. Okay, so, you, so you're not just dropping by for no reason or to be creepy or anything. You're trying to be a good boyfriend. Yeah, of course. And basically what's been going on is, like, she has this guy, Tim, who's, like, been around her house a lot lately. Like, apparently he's, like, fixing things. Like, um, she needed her toilet fixed. Uh, and then, like, recently she needed her garbage disposal fixed. And... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. But, but has she? I mean, has she ever heard of calling the landlord? I mean, that's that's their responsibility. I know. Well, the first time, like the office was closed, and the second time it was like a week. It was like on a weekend or something. So okay. Well, I mean, I usually know. there's an emergency number, but okay. Well, I'm sorry. Whatever. Continue. Yeah. So basically, I mean, recently I was I like popped in, you know, just because like I got out of work kind of early, so I was gonna pop in to say hi. And I go over to her house, and this guy, Tim, answers the door. And, like, she comes over. She comes out of the bathroom. She's in, like, a towel. And I'm like, babe, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, well, he was here to fix the garbage disposal. Okay. And I'm like. Well, didn't you say he already came over and fixed the garbage disposal? I know, right? It was, like, something else was going on. And I was just like, what is it? I was like, how are you just, like, in a towel right now? She said she had just got back from the gym. Like, she hadn't been there the entire time. Okay. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, okay, so the question guess. is, how much fixing is this Tim guy actually doing in your girlfriend's apartment that you don't know about? See, that's the thing. Is like, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I just, you know, I'm just like getting really weird vibes about it, and I just, I don't know. Okay. Well, you, you, you probably did the best thing you could do, which is call us. So what we're, we'll do is we'll actually put Alice into the test here, and then see what happens when we offer her a free pantygram to send to anybody she likes. You're going to get to hear who she chooses and what she puts on the card, okay? All right, cool. All right, time for the two questions we ask every War of the Roses participant. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Yes. All right, and question two, how certain are you that when we offer Allison a free pantygram, that she's going to choose you to send it to? I mean, I'm pretty certain she's going to choose me. But, you know, there's a little lingering, I don't know. All right, well, let's find out. Darling at random. Hello? Good morning. I'm calling to speak to Allison in please. This is Allie. Good morning, Allison. My name's Ashley, and I'm calling from the promotions department at Victoria's Secret. How are you today? I'm good. Um, how are you? I'm great. So um, I notice you've accumulated enough VS points with us for a free gift, and I'm wondering if anybody had contacted you to let you know that. No, I had no idea. That's cool. Yeah, we started the points program earlier this year, and we're still not very good with the whole email contacts thing yet. So do you have a couple minutes for me to tell you about your gift? Yeah, sure. So the gift we want to send you is something we're introducing this holiday season called the VS Pantygram. And the way it works is we send the special guy in your life a pair of real lace panties in the mail with a little note attached from you. So it's like he gets a little mysterious box, he opens it, and there's the panties with the sexy note from you. It's kind of like a cute way to remind him of you, and it's guaranteed to keep you on his mind. Oh, that's cute. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, we think it's going to be a big hit. So what we can do is, since we don't have them in stores yet, we'll just go ahead and send a pantygram out to whoever you want, and you can tell us who you'd like to get it and what you want us to put on the note. 
Now, does that sound like something you'd like to try out? It's not going to cost you anything. It's totally on us. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like fun. Okay, so I have to get a couple things from you. The first one is, what color panties would you like us to send? We have red, black, or pink. Uh, let's go with red. Okay, and now who would you like us to send your pantygram to? Oh, <laughs> that's a big question, huh? Um, let me think here. Oh, not to sound bad or anything, but like, okay. Who deserves a panty surprise? Hmm. Okay, I know. Um, send them to Chris uh, Walker. Okay, and the panties, they come with the card like we explained. So what do you want us to print on the card? It can be anything you like. Sometimes people put stuff like, see you this weekend or thanks for last night. Okay, um, put this down. Okay, put this down. Um, okay, here's something for you to hang on your door the next time you think your roommate's going to walk in. <laughs> Who the f- Chris? Who? Hello? Who? Hello? Who is this? Who the f- is Chris? Who is this guy? You want to tell me who the hell this is first? You're bored. And right now you're on War of the Roses. Brian wanted us okay, to. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Brian wanted us to put you to the test with the whole pantygram thing. I guess we all thought you would have chosen him. So who is Chris? All right, so listen, okay, I see how this looks, all right? So, okay, so Chris is like, he's a friend of mine from the gym, and he was telling me about how his roommate walked in on him with this girl and saw everything, and now, you know, she won't even come over to his place anymore if his roommate's there because it's too embarrassing for her, you know? I don't... So, I was trying to send him the panty thing, okay? So, thinking he could hang it on his doorknob, I was trying to help him out, so the next time he's getting busy, his roommate... Like, oh. well, no, not to walk on uh, in on him, okay. all right? So okay, so, so this was kind of a gag gift then to a guy you know. Right, exactly. You don't have to be paranoid. This I mean, is f***ing unbelievable. I do not believe this at all. Well, I mean, you can believe whatever you want, but that's that's all he is. He's just a friend. I was trying to help him out. So, Explain to me how he is your friend. Like that, okay. that does not make any sense. Well, at okay. All. We, listen, we, we don't need to know the whole history of your relationship with this guy. But if you want to keep talking, to Allison, um, we can put you guys on a private line. Brian, is that cool? Yeah, please do because like I don't like this is ridiculous. Okay, hang on one second. Yeah, exactly. It is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's put. The, <laughs> does anybody? Is anybody buying this? Uh, anybody believe? Come on. He's clue. I don't know. I don't know. I I kind of... All right. I know you guys get mad at me. I believed every word she said about the whole... Uh, it's for a friend. His roommate walked in on him. That part I believe. Was she the girl that he walked in on? That's what I want to know. Was she the girl? That's kind of what it sounds like to me. Like, she's like... You oh, believe her. I believe why she bought... Or sent him the panties. I believe the so you story believe half about, of it. I believe half of it. I believe the half where she said, I have a friend, his roommate walked in on him. This would be a really funny joke. Here's you can hang this on your door next time you think your roommate's gonna walk in. Part of me also thinks she was the girl in the room right. that got walked in on. Yeah, quick liar. Anyways, what do you think? Um you can call us at four seven three one oh four five. You can text us seven five seven one oh four if you feel like it, because I don't know if we're done with this where the roses. Right.